There are thousands of registered sex offenders in neighborhoods throughout El Paso County and all are required to report their address to authorities and they're routinely checked on. But as KFOX 14 News at 9's Jillian Fertig discovered, some may not actually be living where they say they are. There are more than a thousand registered sex offenders in all of El Paso County. There's around 800 living in city limits and around 600 living in the county. There are officers from the sex offender registry and tracking unit checking daily to make sure a sex offender's information is accurate and up to date. We went knocking door to door to see for ourselves if offenders in El Paso were living at their listed addresses. Okay, we're with KFOX and we're just doing a check for a story to see how accurate the El Paso offender registry is. So we're just like seeing if they live at the addresses that the, uh, the registry has listed. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Look Our check started in West El Paso. <laughs> Armed with the list of registered sex offenders in El Paso, we visited a total of 10 homes in all parts of the city. Some offenders themselves weren't home, but neighbors confirmed they live there. This woman asked not to be identified. She told me even though her son is now grown, she worries about other kids in her neighborhood. In the last year, the police come in three or four, four times at that at the house of my neighbor. In another neighborhood in East El Paso, we confirmed a man convicted of sexual assault was living in the listed address, but neighbors in the area say they had no idea who was living next door. Now that I hear this new information, that address is accurate and it's a little... It's, it makes me a little uncomfortable now. This father, who also asked not to be identified, says he hadn't looked closely at the sex offender registry map before moving in last year. Now that I will be more careful, taking <laughs> was cool. yeah. making sure that she gets home okay, and making sure that she doesn't stick around in the front yard for too much if he's outside. We verified several more addresses. There was only one listed address where a registered sex offender was actually not living. KFOX 14 learned he had moved just one day prior and the DPS registry confirmed he updated his address. After our investigation, we asked police and sheriff's deputies about the process and how often officers are checking up on offenders. We do compliancy checks every week. According to state requirements, offenders are required to report in person to El Paso Police Headquarters on Rainer in central El Paso if they live in the city or to the sheriff's office if they live in the county. Homeless sex offenders are required to report every 30 days. A person who has committed a violent or nonviolent sex offense has to report in person once a year. And a person with two or more sexually violent convictions has to report every 90 days. If they don't, they could be arrested for a violation. They are also required to report any status changes. Their change of addresses if they go to school, if they get a job, if they get a cell phone, if they get online identifiers or emails, Facebooks. Detective Eddie Gutierrez with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, who asked us not to show his face due to the nature of his work with sex offenders, says the most common violation is offenders found not to be living at their registered address. Although law enforcement conducts regular checks, the Sheriff's Office says it's up to you to find out who is living next door. There's only one accurate, it's the DPS public website. That's the most accurate one that you can, that one can log into. Gutierrez also stresses the importance of checking the registry periodically because residents are not always notified when an offender moves into a neighborhood. Fortunately, we don't notify them, uh, but DPS does, but there's only certain sex offenders that are notified and that's by postcards. If an offender has a, a high risk level, the neighborhood will be notified. Between city and county sort units, there have been 37 offenders arrested for violating the terms of being a registered sex offender so far this year. That number includes some who were living at unverified addresses. Police say they also rely on phone calls from citizens and other outside agencies and follow up on every call or email about concerns. You can find the sex offender registry with maps on our website, kfoxtv.com. In the studio, Jillian Furtick, KFOX 14.